<laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to another exciting installment of Five Questions with Wrestling Rampage. The three amigos are back in this bit. That's right guys, we are back with this edition of Five Questions with WR. That's when we answer your guys' questions that you guys sent in. Sending questions like crazy guys are trying to keep up. Um, uh, we got a bunch of questions here. Alright. Uh, but, you know, we can only limit it to five for time purposes. That's right. Yeah. So, you uh, guys got to give us a... We wish, we wish to God we could do more, and some way, some way somehow, we're going we're gonna to try to figure it out that we can. Uh, but, guys, we are going to answer your guys' questions that you guys send in. Guys, the easiest way to send in your question is in the comment section down below. Go ahead and uh, write in a question if you guys want to, and it will be on a future... Five questions with WR. What are you laughing about, old man? I don't know. I was just saying you get you get the fire down below, you know. Uh, but uh, if you if you want your question on on a future five Bob questions, Seger. <laughs> Bob Seger. Yeah. Uh, looking like a young Bob Seger at the time. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and answer some questions here. All five questions are asked by the same person. Good friend of ours. Gregory Shulette. Greg Shulette. I talk to him all the time. He's a nice guy. I, nice I'll, guy. I, you know, and, and I just want to tell him. Yeah, you know, Greg Shulette is a good old buddy. Old buddy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, well, here's the thing. You see, I, I like I like his input because you know without without him and people like him, Rapid Rampage would not survive. Yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for guys. Uh, you guys sending in questions because. Uh, we can't do the five question segments without you guys' uh, uh, input. So, That's it. Uh, thank you guys so much for. Uh, yeah, we uh, really appreciate it. Oh yeah, they they send in questions like crazy yeah. and try to keep up. And right. We're trying to keep That's up. Right. They're, they're, they're right, bloody knuckles. That's right. They can't help that. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and go with the with the, with the first question. Um, thoughts on the career of Hollywood icon actor Michael Landon. Little House on the Prairie? Yeah, yeah, Little House on the Prairie. Uh, Lesnar Michael Show? Landon. Yes, Les Lesnar Show. I don't have a problem with Michael Landon. Fucking air conditioner. <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> Pops, Pops, you're a big Michael Landon fan. Uh, Michael Landon uh, played Bonanza. That's uh, all Cartwright. Which you enjoyed. Uh, I, I enjoyed it a lot. I mean, I, you know, it, 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 was, it was a very good show, very well, well written. Uh, I enjoyed it, and uh, I, after it was canceled, you know, it, I, I, I thought, man, what are they all we going to do now, you know? And then, then all of a sudden, you know, a little house of prayer comes, there's Michael Landon! He was older then, but, you know, he he, 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 was, he could still act. And then he was the angel. Yeah, he, and he, he, was, he was the angel, and... and I can't uh, remember what, movie, what show that Highway was. Highway to Heaven! There you go. Highway uh, to Heaven, yeah. Uh, I, he was... He he was diverse. He could play any part, but but you see the the parts that the, the, he only played. I never seen him play an evil part in anything. He's he, always he, he, like every yeah, yeah, yeah. everything I seen. He was really pretty, yeah, he, uh, he, uh, upbeat kind of guy. Yeah, he was, he always played a good guy role in everything he did, and and maybe that right there was his persona. Maybe, maybe that right there was what made what made him so so great as being, as being an actor. But uh, you know, sadly, you know, he he passed away and. The you know it's it's just a sad thing to happen. Do you recall to him. what he died of? I don't. Uh, I, I, I I think it was cancer. I ain't for sure though. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 Greg, if you know, just let me know, okay? But I think it was cancer. Yeah. But he but he was taken away pretty. Uh, he, he was uh, taken away pretty young. young. Yes, it was a sad thing. But, uh, but you see, he uh, he that ain't all. You see, he uh, he also uh, directed some some shows and produced some shows. Mm -hmm. So he he was just in front of the camera. He was also behind the camera too. Robin, did you like some of the Michael Landon shows? Uh, well, uh, you know, and here and there. Here and there, yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, I remember getting interviews. I just remember him on Little House on the Prairie. Uh, for the, yeah, because uh, our, our, our grandmother would watch Little House on the Prairie a lot and, and, and Pops. So, uh, you know, that's where we seen him before. And then when Pops started watching Bonanza. When they yeah, the that's when I knew I saw him there too. Younger, yeah. way younger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was he was way younger. Uh, Dan Blocker also played played the Hoss, and he passed away too. It's a, it's very sad. Lauren Green, uh, Pernell Roberts, and then uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, Mom used to watch Highway to Heaven. Yep. So yeah, that's how, that's how we kind of seen yeah. him on there too. So uh, pretty diverse actor. Yeah. 
Uh, he always played those drama roles. Yeah. Those drama roles. Yeah. 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 But, you know, like I said, he was diverse in front of the camera and behind the camera. Let's go ahead and go with Greg's uh, next uh, question here. Uh -huh. Thoughts on the rock band ZZ Top? ZZ Top. Uh, I do remember, uh, you know, of course, you know, this is a wrestling channel, but I do remember them as a raw guest host. One of the worst. Yeah, yeah, one of the worst raw guest hosts. They're up there as one of the worst. <laughs> but I like ZZ Top. Don't get me wrong. Uh, wasn't a big fan of theirs, so, uh, though. There's me, only a few uh, good songs I like by ZZ Top. Uh, I guess and you could name them a few on one hand. Uh, I, I I guess the only real good one I enjoy was 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 when Jimmy Garvin would come out to uh, Sharp Sharp Red Red Man, Sharp yeah, man. So, you know, that's the only real good one that I remember. But uh, you know, it it, it kind of fit Jimmy Garvin. Yeah, so. it, it, it did. But his persona <laughs> as, as as being a, a good looking guy and everything. Yeah, hey, that song right there fit his persona in, in the wrestling business. Uh, Anything about more ZZ well, Top there, Jim? You know, I like a few songs about ZZ Top. You know? You want to uh, name any? Uh, nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> like, I only know a few. Yeah. Ain't that many. Uh, Pops. Uh, and, uh, but, uh, they are legends. Yeah. They are, they are legends. Never, uh, One I, of the worst, uh, raw guest hosts, though. But, <laughs> but, but at least they didn't get no goddamn names right. Like, goddamn fucking NASCAR man. <laughs> Coffee Johnson. Yeah. So I, I like ZZ Top. I respect it. Uh, Pops. I, I don't know. Is it, I mean, uh, they they were they were my favorite band, but you know. Uh, I, I That's know. what I'm saying. They were my favorite. I, 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 I know just a few songs on you know that I can count on my hands. There's only about a few it. songs. A few good songs. Yeah, a few good songs that you enjoyed. Yeah, yeah that I really enjoyed. The, the others, I. The just, others are just mm. the shits. But then again, you know. I, that, that, that happens on a lot of yeah, There's only a few a good of, songs that are good, and all the rest are trash. That's, that's how come when I, when I go pick, pick up pick up a DVD, a, a, a CD, or anything like that right there. You get the greatest hits. I would always look for the damn greatest hits because or, the greatest or hits. Or you get a hodgepodge yeah. CD where they have every good song. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Sometimes they do, but I always try try to look for the greatest hits because you look on there and, and it is some of their best songs. But that's why they call it the greatest hits. You know, but you know that's also the beauty of music too is. Uh, uh, there's there's all sorts of different yeah. Uh, yeah ways and different styles uh, and things of that nature. I will tell you what, you know, mo most people don't realize there there, there are some die die hard yeah. ZZ Top fans. Yeah, I, 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 I'm just I, not one of them. And, yeah, I mean, they, I tell you what, the, most people don't like the blues. I like the blues. I, I like to listen to BB King. Uh, I like the blues. Uh, you know, it's the blues is just is is just a uh, they got that bluesy theme to them, and that's why I like the blues. And, you know, and, mo and most, 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 even country singers now are doing the bluesy kind of kind of song now. I mean, uh, no, and 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 I like different genres of yeah. music, so it's not really just a. Yeah, it's me. A I like all types. Uh, let's go ahead and go with the next question: I'm Is ready. who is going to be the person that saves wrestling uh, and makes it entertaining to watch again? And. Gregory Shulette wrote Keith Lee. Well, Greg, have you seen what Keith Lee's done on the main roster so far? <laughs> it ain't been that good. It hasn't been that stellar. Wearing, what was it, like a dress or something? Like a skirt? What is it? What is it I don't he, know. Is he trying to be, be like Saturn with Moppy? I don't fucking know. I don't understand uh, why they would even do that. I don't either. Like, why change a person from their NXT... Persona. Yeah. Uh, just to do something else. Unless, unless that guy was just like a yeah. jobber or something. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But this guy was a, was the NXT North America champion. He yeah. was also the, the NXT champion. Yeah. Why would you do that? Yeah. Doesn't make no sense. I'm going to say this right here. I know with this right here. And I'm going to say it right straight. The reason why, you know, shit like this right here ha happens when they, get, when they get to the fucking main roster is it, because they don't have to use anybody. That they want to put in the fucking shitty ass gimmicks that they're not used used to being in. That if it was me and a lot, a lot, a lot of the goddamn motherfuckers that come from NXT, I'd be begging fucking want to go back because they're not going to use him. As I said, for dumb, some fucking dumb, stupid shit. You know, they they change a lot about his character as well as um, feuding with Orton. And let's just be honest. Not something I'm grasping at straws to yeah. to, to watch. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. 
That's uh, that's nothing I'm looking sitting on the edge of my goddamn seat to watch. It, 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 wrestling, it's well it's, nothing nothing I'm watching yeah. nowadays oh, yeah. is wrestling. Yeah. People now this right here day and time has turned wrestling into a fucking joke. And I and I and I'm still a fan, but I tell you what, the way wrestling is now, and I'm talking about all fucking promotions. They're 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 they're, they're making it feel like. I'm ashamed to be to be a fan of wrestling now because they make it look so goddamn stupid now. Mm -hmm. um, you know, currently I'm not watching any wrestling. Uh, we, we're not you know, uh, at all. We're not. Uh, you know, I might catch a few highlights or something, but overall, I'm not watching any professional wrestling. Me either. I will go back, uh, and and you know, it's all you know. We've already seen it and everything like that, right here. But but I I will I would rather go back and watch the old shit than the, than what shit is watching right now. It makes more sense to me. The old shit does. So, do you see anybody making wrestling entertaining again? No, but to Marks, it's AFW. Yeah. Oh, Kenny oh, Omega is the greatest. To the Marks, it's AFW. The, the Young Bucks are the greatest tag uh, team you know, in history. You know what it is? The Young Bucks just killed another kid. Ah! Oh! Goddamn dumb. But I hate them motherfuckers. You know, fucking Sick fucking shit. AFW. Uh, John Moxley. Tommy, John Moxley is, is Pro, Pro Wrestling Illustrated's number one in the top 500. <laughs> well, 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 can, I, can I tell you something? Go ahead. Who the fuck cares? Like, who buys magazines nowadays anyway? That's true. Magazines about to come obsolete. Okay. Come on, yeah. who's going to buy? Who gives a fuck that John Moxley, Mr. Bootleg Stone Cold Steve Austin, that the, the crotch rides want to call him? I'm sorry, John Moxley, Dean Ambrose sucks. He don't deserve to be number one. I okay. thought I, I, I thought he was okay, yeah. but from what I've seen in in in, in AEW, trash. so far <laughs> he's the shits. He is the shits. He's like he came from WWE, and it feels like once he left, he's gotten way worse. Yeah. Like well, like he, he completely forgot everything. He's got fucked up hair. I'm sorry, he looks like a schmuck. Yeah. Like, I swear, these guys that actually came from WWE, it looks like they went down like more than fucking a couple of pegs. They went down, it looks like they forgot the whole wrestling book. <laughs> like, where's the goddamn coloring book at? What magazine are you talking about? Pro Wrestling, Pro Wrestling Illustrated. Uh, 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 uh. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, it ain't fucking Bill you know, After. <laughs> it ain't Bill After no more. No, it, it's it's not. If it was Bill know. After. You know, Moxley wouldn't be number one. Uh, <laughs> hey, here's the thing. You see, what they're do, do, doing now is it must be it, 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 it must be a, a, an all pins wrestling guy guy there that is writing the shit now. Uh, I'm surprised Dave Meltzer ain't writing yeah, for it. Yeah, 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 because because he likes to lick. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. There's no one. I'm gonna say it right now, no one that. Peak interest in wrestling. But there, I I agree. I, there there is. There's no wrestler uh, on any roster that has piqued my interest. Okay, you know, wrestlers always have this you know ebb and flow about it. Yeah. Where you know at some points it's been trash, like now, or at some points it's been at a decent level, or there's yes. types where it's been at the yeah. highest peak Re level. Yes. Wrestling to me has been like this. Yeah. All in down, all in done. But now, down like that, and it ain't never coming back. Mm -hmm. I, it, I, I, I'm just, I'm just saying. Is there that, anybody that you could think of that is currently wrestling in any promotion that could be a top mainstream global star? No. No, I don't see it. No, I don't see it either. I really don't. Uh, there's guys I, I like on the uh, roster. There's always people yeah. that you like. Yeah. But, but I don't see yeah. them standing out as goddamn the, would, the, the saving grace. Yes. Would I would, would I love for wrestling to get back the, the to get back the strength that it had before? Yes. Do I think it's going to? Not at this time. I really don't think so. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know, some people want to blame blame it on. Uh, the uh, pandemic, it's it's, it's uh, not, it was it's way not. worse before the yeah, fucking yeah, pandemic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was uh, the shit before the pandemic. Don't fucking blame yeah. that there, Trump people. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's a Trump trade right there. I know. Oh man, wrestling was good when uh, they had big crowds. No, wrestling. Well, Ten thousand people in the building. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Well, you see, you, yeah, you see, here's, here's, here's it, it happened. It had AFW Fighter Fest in the fucking county fair. Here's the thing about this right here. Where, where's can, the goddamn candy apples? Yeah, they can, they, they can talk about the epidemic and, and the wrestling and why why it's the cause of that right there, uh, especially the, the the Trump people. But but you already put the blame where it is, and that and that's right right at the White House with your orange guy. The little orange man. Yeah, the little orange man. That I can't wait. Biden, baby, beat this bastard. But when it comes to wrestling, I don't think there's anybody that is going to nope. make it interesting again. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't, no, there's I, nobody. I don't, I don't see it. I really don't. If, like I said, if, do I wish? Yeah, I'd, li I'd like to get back in love wrestling like, like I did. I, I, I still love it. But but I, like I said, here 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 in the times. Of what it is now, I just go back and I watch those shit. because that's what that's what wrestling was to me back then. Now it's nothing anymore. Anyway. You know, you know. I guess the only person that would pique any kind of interest is what they're doing with Roman Reigns right now. Yeah. As far as any kind of appeal. Yeah. Of uh, interest. Yeah. Of, 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 All because yeah. he's being a heel, maybe. Yeah. You know. You know. You kind of want to see the way that's going to work yeah. out. Yeah. Uh, but you know they. They've shit the bread. Uh, sh they shit the bed with uh, with Bray. Yep. Yeah. They, they shit the bed with Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman. They shit the bed with Samoa Joe. Yep. They shit the bed with almost every goddamn body they here, bring in. Here's my fear of, of this right here with Roman Reigns. Yes, he's they turned heel. Shit the heel. bed on Nakamura. And, and, and it's all new for him to turn heel. So, and here here's my fear about this right here. When a guy and, and we've seen it, he get, when a guy gets gets on a real big roll, right, right then and there, and gets gets ready to, to to get really up there. What does WWE do? They pull the rug out from the now. We don't want this. We're gonna go back. And then uh, you know, if you think fucking AEW is a threat, they're not. No, they're not. A no, they're not threat. a threat. Uh, you know, they they can barely beat the developmental territory for oh, the WWE. Oh, I love it, and I love it when people say. Hey, you know, last week they got one million views. How long did that take? <laughs> They've been on the fucking team for fucking nine months. Yeah, how long oh, did wow. Get another one, one million. million. <laughs> Holy shit, you got a one million. Holy shit, that's the second time you hit a million. Yeah. Why don't you go back down? Go back down, <laughs> so go back down again. Yeah. Uh, but, um, yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't yeah, see Yeah, I don't see nobody. I don't either. Let's go ahead and go with the next, uh, next question here. Is thoughts on the Samba Simba gimmick. Uh, Tommy, um, yeah, me and you have seen this before. Um, what was this, 90, uh, 91. 91. Uh, Tommy, there was a familiar face that comes back to the WWF. Yes. What was that familiar face? It was Tony Atlas. Mr. USA, Tony yeah. Atlas. And uh, still in great shape at that yeah. time. Uh, you know, fucking abs, fucking you know, really powerful and uh, had the had, had the muscles. Yeah. Um, but instead of bringing them in as Mr. USA, I guess because they're about to get Luger and do, you know. I don't know. <laughs> do uh, Yankee Doodle Dandy. Yeah. Um, in a few Driving years. Let's Express. Uh, I mean, well, I mean, you know, they still had Hogan and stuff yeah. too, so I mean, you know, a little different. But um, they bring him in as Samba Simba. Yeah. And he was barefooted. Yeah. Uh, you know, dressed in this tribal. Yeah. Gra what the fuck was he having? A fucking arrow? Uh, like, what was that? A fucking arrow? Uh, I and get... he had this weird ass fucking fucking hat. Yeah, it was. I don't know what the fuck it was. Feathers on it? I don't fucking know what the fuck it was. You know, it was this kind of tribal gimmick. And, and he's wearing the Tatanka tights. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Tatanka. Before Tatanka. <laughs> That's right. Before the Native American yeah. Tatanka. I think Tatanka saw Tony Atlas's tight side, but Simba goes, I want those. I want those. Um, I just I just didn't get it. I didn't. No, I didn't either. Um, I it mean, didn't last very long either. No, no, no. It didn't, it, no, it didn't no, last it long a, at all. It hit, it, there's the thing. It was a fail. I, I was actually, I thought, I, to me, I, it was a fail too. It was a fail. Who, whoever thought of this right here, better not him the fucking head because you know i mean i understand doing gimmicks and stuff yeah, but, but uh, 
It was just like a head scratcher. Yeah. It yeah. was anything. Yeah. Because you, I was you like, know. Why the hell? It makes no sense. How the fuck is Tony Atlas a. Uh, African tribal yeah. member? Yeah. Or How the fuck shit? did that yeah. happen? You know, what happened to Mr. USA, Tony Atlas? Yeah. Give me that one. Yeah. Hell, he can wear the fucking, the fucking American flag singlet like he did in the Indies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give me that. You know, but this Tony Atlas, Saba Simba fucking sucked. And here's the thing, you know, he was he, he was still ripped at that time, you know. I mean, damn. I mean, and then they throwed him in something like that. It's a, the hell, where the hell did this shit come from? I, I don't know. I don't know if they just did it to get Tony a job or... or, or or well, let me tell you, it didn't last very it long. It didn't last that long, no. Uh, that's that's Saba Simba gimmick. How the fuck can you get that over anyway? I time? guess the only the only pay per view appearance I've seen him was at the War Rumble. Royal Rumble ninety one. Yeah. And of course, he didn't last that long. Uh, now you yeah. yeah. threw out. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> As it goes with so many other other little things, and we've already explained this right here to to people, they they get him in a gimmick, and 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 the guy. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. You just can't make it work. Yeah, that's just the way it is. But let's go ahead and go with the last question. I'm ready for this edition of five questions. Is thoughts on the death of Dino Bravo? Hmm. Uh, now we do know that 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 I mean, if you guys watch the uh, the Dark Side of the Ring, the murder yes. of Dino Bravo, uh, fantastically done. Yeah, highly recommend you check that out. Yes, uh, greatly. I'm, I'm looking forward to hopefully a season three yes. of the uh, Dark Side of the Ring. Um, we do you know... You know that was the only time I had my cable box on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Now the cable box is still fucking... Uh, uh, we're, paying, uh, uh, we're paying the same amount when it comes to cable anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Uh, you got, like, we got three rooms that have cable in the house, and, uh, like, we would have paid the same if it was just, like, one room, so it didn't really matter. Uh, and Tommy says, I don't see nothing on TV I like, and he just fucking unplugged it no. <laughs> Yes, well, I, 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 I've got. But when I saw I'll, Dark Side of the Reed came back, well, back goes in tone. <laughs> I got uh, the, 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 the kids got, got don't have what I I got HD, and the reason why I got HD is because to to you watch, like to watch sports. I like to watch sports. But I we didn't like know the TV. pandemic was coming. Didn't know the pandemic was coming to ruin it. But anyway, there you well, go. People still watch sports. Like, oh man, yeah. it's still good. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not the same. It's not the same to me. I, how the fuck can you? I'm sorry, like, I love football. But how the fuck can you play football without touching people? Just can't. And, and I've seen a lot of fucking players opt out saying, I ain't playing this fucking season. No. Nope. I ain't getting the run. There, there is a lot of players that did not play. Fucking, that and I'm sorry, man. If, someone, if I'm a professional player, I don't give a damn. Basketball, basketball, football, baseball, it don't fucking matter. I'm not playing. I mean, I watch, I, I watch you, our, our and, team lose. And then, you, and then you got this fucking, the great fucking orange, orange fuck. <laughs> say, I'm going to bring college football. Who gives you the fucking right to fucking tell college people what the fuck to do? Who wants to listen to fucking Prairie Farms fuck over here? <laughs> Prairie Farms orange drink. Yeah, who wants to fucking listen to fucking hugs over here? Well, well, we're, we're going to have to because... We're not li living in an America. We're living in Trump America. You know, who wants to listen to fucking hugs over here? But uh, if you guys watch the Dark Side of the Ring uh, about his, and, yeah. and, 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 and and we already knew this that that uh, you know Dino Bravo was a big star in Montreal. Yes, yes. He and, and he had his own promotion. He did. Yeah. Uh, and you know he was a big big star for Montreal. Yes. And And. Um, I mean, I mean, but we knew this anyway yeah. going into this uh, because he was the Canadian strong man and, yep. and uh, uh, eventually gets signed by the WWF. And, and then when he comes to the WWF, he, he, he blonde, he's had his hair dyed blonde. And, and then he first he came in, he was teaming with Greg Valentine as the Dream Team version 2. Yeah. Which is better than Beefcake. I'll take Dino yeah. over Beefcake any day. Give me Dino if over... If I was Greg. Over, over, over Brutus. If I was Greg, Brutus. thank you for giving me a better partner. <laughs> you should have made this the first green team. <laughs> and, and, then he, and then he was with Jimmy Hart as a manager. And, Earthquake. And yeah, and then he had Frenchie Martin. Mm -hmm. Frenchie Martin. And then, yep, and then uh, and he had Jimmy Hart. Him and Earthquake teamed up a lot. 
so, but then, like, I don't know, man, they just, like, they just didn't do much with it. Uh, I mean, I know that they did br bring him into the WWF to get some bigger houses in Canada. Yeah. 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 I do know that. Yeah. Because, uh... Well, you know, well, well, you're, 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 you're going to use yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The, the the big Canadian stars and put them yeah, on the on you, the show. You got to admit because because in, in, in Canada he had to stroke. He did. So why not why not use him? Yeah. Uh, and you know I always liked Dino Bravo. Oh, I, I, too. I, I had nothing I against. I didn't, not, I didn't have nothing against Dino Bravo. Uh, did did, did I see him as a big big star in the WWE? No, no. no. But but no. Uh, you know, I I, I I always enjoyed his work. Yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah, he was he, decent. He, he, was a decent, he was a decent worker. Well, Dino Bravo, if he was yeah. here in this goddamn time, he'd, he'd be a big star. <laughs> he he was, was, he'd he'd probably, the only big be, star. He'd probably be the one the saving grace. Yeah, yeah. probably would be. Uh, and then, of course, uh, you know, he does get released by the WWF. Yep. And, and then went through some uh, tough times. Uh, tough times. And, uh, dealing with uh, drugs and yes. uh, cigarette smuggling, cigarette yeah. smuggling, that, and that dark cloud, yeah, that big <laughs> black cloud. That came up. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you know what? I got a question. Yeah, go ahead. Man. You know, we're doing the uh, people smuggling wrestling career. Let us know if you want us to do a Dino Bravo. Yeah. Uh, the uh, in the comments. Uh, we, we did one. Uh, we did. One uh, a few months ago about uh, Mike Awesome's career, and yeah. just recently, Crash uh, Holly. We Crash did one Holly. on Crash Holly. If you guys want us to do a Dino Bravo episode, let, yeah, us, let know. us know in the comments. I will be very interested in, in doing a Dino Bravo episode if you guys would like that. Yeah. Um, or or if you if there's a certain one that you want us to cover, uh, yeah. let us know in the comment section down below. You know, in the, the, the sad thing, you know, is you know that he was murdered. And there's a lot of speculation going on what what happened to him. Some some people say that that, that he got in that deep with the, with with gangsters, and uh, he 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 was he was a big gambler. And some people say say that he didn't he paid gambling debts and they killed him. Mm -hmm. uh, you know the speculations are out there. Some could have been uh, could have been the cigarette smuggling. Yeah, uh, could have yeah. been uh, a contracted yeah. Uh, hit. Yeah, exactly. Um, the, 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 and and, the, and to tell you the truth, the the, the, the it's it's still going on today. The the the, the you know the the, the in the windows about what really happened. Yeah. So nobody really really knows what really happened. But uh, uh, pretty tragic to hear about, uh, especially somebody dying um, in that way. Yeah. <laughs> you got there, old man. Oh no, the other one. That'll knock him. <laughs> anyway. Uh, uh, Pretty, pretty weird for speculation to, for, for, for somebody to die. Yeah. I mean, you know, most time people die from natural causes yeah. or, or, uh, or or some type of disease or uh, or, or, or drugs and alcohol. But uh, but his being shot yeah. in his home. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's, uh, very I was alarming. watching hockey. Yeah, <laughs> watching yeah, old watch hockey. Yeah. But uh, uh, anything else you guys want to add about Dino Bravo's no, I, death? I, I, I just I, it's I, just sad. It, 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 it is. is. It's, it's just sad. That's all it is. But uh, there you guys go. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you guys did, make sure you guys give, hit that thumbs up button because guys, that helps out the channel tremendously. It lets it lets us know that you guys enjoy the videos, and it also lets YouTube yeah. know that you guys enjoy our videos as well. Yeah, so so make sure you guys give that yeah. thumbs up. So don't you guys just give us a thumb. Uh, or or if you want to be an asshole and whatever, give us a thumbs down. You know, yeah, we, yeah, we've yeah. been getting thumbs down yeah. on a lot of videos. Yeah, really, don't I, give a shit yeah, either really way. Because, shit. because you see, it really doesn't matter. You can thumb Or let down. YouTube know you hate us by hitting yeah, that down. Yeah, 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 <laughs> that yeah, dislike button. But you see, it really doesn't matter. You, you can talk about us, but the more you people talk about us that don't like us, our fame goes up. That's right. So make sure you guys do that. And make Woo! sure that you guys like us on Facebook, Facebook.com, so close to Grand Page 2. You can uh, follow us on Twitter at WrestleRampage. You can have Pops on Facebook. He's always on there. Amazing. And guys, you can follow me and Tommy on Instagram. I mean, you post uh, stuff that's on our mind or yep. pickups or photos of us or uh, stuff we're going to be doing in the future on the channel. If you guys want to check that out, make sure that you guys follow me and Tommy on Instagram. The links are right here. And guys, make sure that... Uh, you guys hit that subscribe button for more great videos coming to you guys because we are that cream that rises to the top. Cream of the crop. And nobody does it better. Yeah.